right? So we build drone-based solutions for large industries, right? And we enable these industries use drones in the most effective manner. Right? I'm here to talk about connecting drones to possibilities out there, right? So first of all, okay, what is a drone? So we know drones are being used. I mean, we've all heard of drones. It's a buzzword right now. Uh, we know that drones are being used for various military applications, and also for you know recently for all wedding photography, right? Um, but the point is, uh, a drone is actually a robot which can move in three dimensions. I mean, that's about it. A robot which can move in three dimensions can cover this entire space, fill it up. That's a drone, right? So, what makes it useful? They're, they become useful simply because of the fact that they carry something called as a payload, and which can in turn capture and deliver data, right? And they can capture a lot of data, deliver data, transmit data, like how Facebook is trying to you know, use drones to you know, connect people around. So that's about drones, right? And they can even deliver pizzas, of course. That's what we are all fascinated about in, with Amazon and stuff. But beyond that, why do you think that they're becoming so important? Why is everyone talking about drones right now? So that's simply because they bring reach. So what is reach? So as a human, right now, my geographical influence that I have is about 5 meters, maximum 10 meters in and around me, right? But with a drone, I simply am empowered to have about 30 kilometers of reach. So for example, I have a drone. I can actually see what's going on about 30 kilometers away from me, sitting right here. And this is not like a fancy military drone. This is a drone which can be, you know, it's a SUAS, it's a small UAV. It's, but that provides us so much reach. It's unfathomable, right? So. What can you can do with these amount of reach? You can collect data, you can make better decisions, you can even you know, start delivering stuff 30 kilometers away, simply because you have this newfound reach right now. It enables productivity. So what, does, what do I mean by productivity? So suppose I'm a, I know I'm a company you know, collecting a lot of data, um, maybe a land survey company, uh, going around collecting, surveying huge amounts of lands, Right now, it takes a lot of manpower to do it. Um, we have about 200 acres takes about, you know, just a rough stat gives, takes about four people in about two weeks to collect all this data with the technology that we have right now, right? But with a drone, it is possible with a minute. It covers 10 acres a minute, eight to 10 acres. And with 200 acres, you can cover an hour, right? And this is authentic data. It is not unstructured. It's structured data. Right? You, you get these beautiful maps, which, is, which requires almost like no post-processing per se, and you know, no, not much compared to what, what, what you would require if you, you know, collect individual data points moving around areas. Right? So it improves productivity a lot. Then it provides security. This is another important point. All across our value chain of utilities, or all across our value chain of um, you know, human existence per se, we, are, we can use drone to feel secure. Right? You, it, it can fly around 24 bar 7. Like we can enable many drones to fill, you know, keep collecting data. And this amount of security can be provided over vast areas of land. Your power lines can be made secure. Your industries can be made secure. Your household even can be made secure. Just because of the fact that, and these are the similar kind of machines. They are ones which hover, they are ones which fly, but bottom line is we, we, we can now enable security in large scale. Right? So a confluence of reach, security, and productivity, a technology which just brings all of these together is what I like to call as a drone technology, right? It enables us to do so much more right now. So 
let me just take you back to capture, deliver, connect of a drone. Right? We did some case studies in my organization. So the first one I'm going to talk about is mining. It's actually an industry which has very limited reach, no security, limited productivity, simply because if you want to collect, it's a rapidly changing topography. So if you want to collect data for, of that topography, you have to really stop operations for some time. Right? So we could, in our case study, we could actually collect data at about eight acres a minute, and a number of people involved to collect data is just one person. For, and this I'm talking about a, I'm a small case study of 400 acres of land. Right? So this is what you get. This actually a four centimeter per pixel resolution data. So you can measure point to point and it's four centimeter accurate. Right? Um, so what does this enable us? This, this, this here is an elevation model, right, of, of drone, of the data what you get out of a drone. Right? So this, is, we can, with this amount of data, you can estimate stockpiles. You can, you can, you know, you can, you can estimate the volume of overburdens as, I mean, how much volume that do you need to excavate before you actually hit the coal. So, so much analytics that is possible right now. Once, once you get this, once, once you get this accurate data coming into your system. Right? We can even give you all the slopes. And this is very interesting, right? This slope map will be very useful to know if, if it rains, where are all the water logging going to be in a mine? Is it going to be, is it going to be safe to operate lorries in, in the same routes? Which mine can we, we can enable better mine planning, better stop, better lorry and you know uh, you know transportation utilities planning in a mine? Just because right now we have this authentic data, which is before not possible, right? So one more thing I would like to talk about is corridor mapping. It's another case study that we did. So there are about oh, 100,000 kilometers of Indian highways which are there, right? So that's what connects us, and that's the bloodline of our entire economy. Now, we are not digitized it yet. It's not digital. Um, Every single time we have to again survey that amount of kilometers of land simply because we have to put an extra lane next to the road. We don't know what is there next. We, are, we don't know how much tree grows over time. And this amount of, this amount, if you want to survey so much, acre, I mean, kilometers of land, by the time you cover this amount of kilometers of land, something new might have already come up. Right? So it's not possible for us to do manual methods anymore. So this can be enabled with drones. With, with, we can cover 100,000 100, kilometers of land with about 3,000 drone hours. And that's pretty amazing, right? If you, just, if you just get a lot of these drones, about 100 of them, get, get 30 hours, uh, push, push about 30 hours per drone, you, you, you can cover it. It's, we enabled it, right? So what we have now in terms of corridor mapping is this right up there. That's what people do in normal surveying. We have CAD models. We, we estimate, OK, this is where the tree is supposed to be. That's what uh, a person, uh, actual person there went and saw and measured and came back and draws, drew some model over there, right up there. What we can do is right at the bottom. We can actually tell this is actually there. I'm not joking. This is perfect. The trees are there. The, the utility lines are there. Even the fact that. Uh, I've, I've heard of customers who asked me, like, can, can you actually tell me how much of this treetop area comes over the utility lines, right? Simply because of the fact that the treetop area will, you know, cut, cut across the utility lines and you might have a power shortage. So that is very much possible with drone data. So I can, I can, we can, in fact, have how much tree is coming how much tree area of tree coming inside inside the inside a power line, right? So that's possible, right? So next, then the one of the other innovative application that we are working with a client uh, is rooftop solar, right? So in rooftop solar, what we uh, what we do is the fact that if if you want to put a solar panel in a new newly constructed industry, it is Right now, not possible. I mean, I mean, data is not possible simply because of the fact that satellite wouldn't have captured it because it's newly constructed. Um, 
if it's inaccessible, we need people climbing right up there, uh, right up to the solar panel, I mean the roof, and you know, measure it with inch tapes to get it, to get it sorted, right? And this usually takes about two, three weeks time, right? And planning is not even a, it becomes even more of a challenge after that. So what we could do is a map of a rooftop like this. So the point is, if you notice, there's a small pillar there in the lower part of the, you know, the screen. So there's actually a small hum uh, a guy, I, I couldn't zoom in more, sorry, but we could actually uh, measure the operator, the drone operator's t-shirt size from that height, from this data. We could tell him that his t-shirt size was 42, right? So that is the accuracy that I'm talking about. So imagine this amount of accuracy coming into rooftop solar. You can, you can, you know, put in another solar panel right there which is now not possible, right? You can enable a lot of planning. So anyway, this is about capturing data. So next thing what I want to talk about is we are working at another client for smart metering, right? So we all heard of uh, smart meters going to enter our market right now, right? And uh, in these meters, we want to collect, um, you know, uh, they're going to be like, RFID tags, which are going, when manually, go, people are going to manually go and, you know, collect this data with an RFID collector in their hands. So, we, up, the client approached us and told, can, can we do this by drones? I was like, yeah, that's fine, because we, yeah, we have a range of 50 meters from any point. We can fly, you know, in, in the future maybe, we can fly in the night, right? Uh, we can cover almost the entire city uh, within, within, say, two, three days. With, which, compare, which compares to the other approach of, you know, manually collecting this data. Currently, it takes about 21 days for Bangalore City to get, uh, to, for every manual labor to go and collect meter readings. And that's why, that's one of the huge expenses, I mean, a significant part of the expenses why, uh, you know, your electricity bill is priced at that much amount of money. It takes so much days to collect this data. So this can be, reduced drastically by using drones and using the smart metering application, right? So this is just a beginning, and these are just small case studies that we have done as an organization, but there is a laundry list of applications which is possible using drones. And this is just the beginning, and this is just with the current technology where we stand at right now. Drone applications are entering into every market, infrastructure, security, utilities, name it, you have it. There will be some where the drone can, you know, be used. Simply because it gives, empowers people to better applications, right? It empowers them of geographic freedom, which they never had before. Similarly, these drones have been followed by all these sensors, whatever we are talking about, including our mobile phone. The sensors are becoming so small and so, you know, light nowadays, that you can fit it onto a drone. We're talking about thermal, we're talking about lidar, we're talking about hyperspectral imaging, everything. Whatever sensor you're talking about, which was only dreamt about in satellite, or dreamt, like, or in a, in a you know, conventional vehicle, can now be fitted into a drone, and be used for collection and t connecting data. It's right here. It's already there. So what is the impact I'm talking about, right? The impact is we reduce carbon footprint a lot. We don't need to use manual methods for carbon footprint anymore. Like, we, the carbon footprint is reduced considerably by using this technology. It's very economical, simply because we don't have to use so much manual labor for collecting data and processing them after collecting it, right? It's empowering. Imagine everyone, at least selected individuals, flying these objects in and around the, in the, around the country, and it, it becomes, all your data becomes digital. It's directly digital right now. There's nothing stopping India, one of the easiest way of, you know, digitizing India in the future is by using drones. So they can just collect data at that rapid pace that you can digitize the country. So, like I said, drones for digitalization um, is the concept. And I just have one last 
corporate video which I would like to play. Start. 